Facts Verse presents. This man saved pennies for 45 years, and the total amount was astonishing. There is an old saying, a penny saved is a penny earned. Well, a man named Anders took that literally. This guy saved pennies for 45 years, and then he cashed them in, and their total is astounding. Today, Anders is 70 years old. A little over 45 years ago, he started picking up pennies that he found on the ground. When he spoke to the news star, he said that he was sure that each time he found a penny on the ground, it was a sign from God that he should always be thankful. Well, Anders said that there were days where he didn't pray. Those days came more often than not. When he'd find a penny, though, he realized there was hope and there was a reason for him to pray. For years, he kept all the pennies in his home in Ruston. In 2015, he realized that if his home were broken into or if there was a fire, his pennies would not be covered under his homeowner's insurance. He realized after many years that it was finally time to take his load of pennies to the bank. Anders spent most of his life working for the Jackson School Board. He was a supervisor who looked after the students who were suspended from class. The students that he worked with knew that he was a penny saver, and those students would save their pennies and bring them to school. Anders refused to just take the pennies from the children, though, so he would buy them from them. He never allowed anyone, not even his wife and kids, to give him pennies without compensating them for them. He wanted his pennies to either be found or bought. He had somebody else helping him with his penny savings. He had a friend named Jack Domino Kid Brown. Jack was saving nickels, and Anders was saving pennies. Each time Domino Kid found a penny, he'd give it to Anders. Each time Anders found a nickel, he'd give it to Domino Kid. When one of them found coins for the other, there was no paying each other back. They had what they called an exchange program. Each man would often try to outdo the other by building up their collections. When Anders would visit somebody's home, he had no problem keeping the penny. He would tell the homeowner if he found a quarter or a dime. If he found either of those, he would return it to the homeowner and then let them know that if it had been a penny, it would have gone into his pocket. He'd also hold on to a nickel and tell the homeowner so that he could continue his exchange program with his friend. He was so serious about saving his pennies that he stopped spending pennies altogether. He didn't spend a single penny, even if he had to. If he purchased something for $2.06, he'd give the cashier $2 and a dime rather than spending some of his pennies. He figured that was the best way to save as many pennies as possible. In the 1970s, when there was a shortage of pennies, the United States government offered $25 for every $100 in pennies that were handed in. Anders could have easily cashed out his pennies that way, but he didn't. He chose to hold on to his collection and continue saving. This was before Coinstar was invented, which makes it easy to cash in change without needing to roll it nowadays. He didn't waver. His penny collection was his pride and joy, and he wanted to continue saving, even if the U.S. government was giving him an easy way to cash in on his fortune. When Anders decided that it was finally time to cash in his load of pennies, getting them to the bank was not an easy task. The pennies weighed an astonishing 2,800 pounds. This was way too big for him to bring to the bank on his own. To put that number into perspective, his penny load weighed about as much as the average American bison. When Anders got his 15 water bottles full of pennies to the bank, he then had to figure out how to get the pennies out quickly and easily. Anders decided that the best way to do that would be to take an axe to the containers to break them and get the pennies out. When they got the pennies out of the containers, they still needed to be counted. To make things as easy as possible, automatic counting machines needed to be used. Had they tried to count the 2,800 pounds of pennies by hand, it would have taken far too long. The containers were broken into plastic buckets, and then they poured the pennies into the counting machine. Even with automatic counters, it took over five hours for the bankers to count the pennies. The bank staff had to switch out the coin bags every 20 minutes because each one only held about $50 worth of pennies. When the pennies were finally done being counted, the moment of truth came. Anders was so excited to find out how much money he had after 45 years of saving pennies. You ready? The total came out to $513,614, over half a million dollars. This averages out to 31 pennies per day over the course of 16,425 days. According to Anders, if he wasn't worried that his homeowner's insurance wouldn't cover the pennies, he'd probably still be saving them today rather than cashing them in. 
Anders isn't the only person who saves their pennies, either. In 2015, a man named Mr. Gan bought a new car in China using collected change. He bought his car with $660,000 in coins and $20,000 notes. His haul weighed 8,000 pounds. In the U.S., a man named Ira Keys saved up his pennies. When he took his haul to the bank, it weighed 500 pounds and he cashed it in for $816. When Anders was asked what he would be spending that money on, his plan was a bit less fun than going to Vegas or buying a Rolex. He says that he needs to have some expensive dental treatments, and he'd be using the money to cover the cost. On the plus side, he's going to have some glamorous chompers. Subscribe for more!